Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in Euclidean geometry. Now in the last lesson we were taught that the angle at the center equals twice the angle of circumference and in this lesson we're actually going to now put those proofs into practice. So let's have a look at our first example. It says find x. So we've got the circle, we've got a center of O, we have three points on the circumference D, B and C and they've got this and we've got this value O C B which equals 40 degrees. Now we've been taught that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So if we can somehow get a value for this angle at the center then we can get the angle at the circumference. So let's look at this triangle therefore because that incorporates our angle at the center and it incorporates our given information. So if we look at this, we can realize that OC is equal to BO. Why? Because they are radii, because they're radii. And if that's the case, this, these two angles, yeah, this angle has to equal to this angle because they are base angles of an isosceles triangle. So therefore this is 40 degrees. And if that's 40 degrees and that's 40 degrees, then do you, because of this, all this has to add up to what? Because this is a triangle, these have to add up to 180 degrees. And this is 40 and this is 40, which makes 80. So therefore, this is going to be 180 minus 80, which is 100 degrees. And then finally, the angle at the center is twice the angle of circumference. So therefore, this is 50 degrees. Awesome. So now we know what the angle is. But now, grade 11s, like I've mentioned to you before, most of your marks you get from actually writing down what you did and the reason. So let's start again. We know what? That OBC is equal to OCB. So we can say angle OBC equals 40 degrees. Why? Base angles of isosceles triangle, okay, therefore, where is this, therefore, angle BOC equals 100 degrees, why? It would be supplementary angles in triangle, another way of saying this is angle sum of triangle, either way you would get it right, and then therefore, where am I? Therefore, x is equal to 50 degrees. Why? Because angle at the circumference equals half the angle at the center. Okay, not too bad. Hey, let's try another example. I'm going to change color. I don't really like this insipid blue. I mean, it's pretty blue. Just tired of writing with it. Okay, so now let's look at this. This here is just going straight to our rule. The straight to the rule says that that there is 2x minus 30 and this here is 260 degrees, 260 degrees. So we know that the angle of the center is equal to twice the angle at the circumference. So we know that the angle of the center is twice the angle of circumference. So we know therefore that 260 is equal to twice 2x minus 30 degrees. So I would just straight divide by 2 on both sides. I'd get 130 degrees is equal to 2x minus 30. So we can take the minus, the minus 30 across and it becomes plus 30. So we've got 160 is equal to 2x and therefore your x is going to be equal to 80 degrees. Not too bad, hey? Right. Ah, let's look at this one. It says find x and y. Find x and y. And we have that this is 20 degrees here. We want this x and we want that y. Now, an interesting phenomena, and it's actually another kind of proof or theorem that you need to know, is that if this, think about this, this is a straight line and this is the angle at the center. So if this is the angle at the center and it equals 180 degrees, then this 
and okay let's call this A and this is B and this is C so Y is the whole of angle C right and it's been subtended by A and B so the angle at the center made by AB is 180 degrees because it's a straight line but we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so therefore if this is 180 degrees this is 90 that's 90. So we've actually just proven one of our proofs which says that an angle in a semicircle is always equal to 90 degrees. In other words, the angle made at the circumference of a semicircle is always equal to 90 degrees. So we can say that y is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Either you can say that angle at center equals two times the angle at the circumference or you can use what you've just proven by working it out that the angle in a semicircle the angle in the semicircle is always going to be 90 degrees now let's think about this if this is 90 and this is 20 what is x going to be well the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees therefore x has to be equal to 180 minus 20 minus 90 which is going to have to be 70 degrees and why because angle in triangle the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees not too bad hey right and that's it for this lesson please go practice 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 and then do some more examples and then do the assessment at the end of the section have a great day grade 11s <laughs>